Hi, welcome to Health Sidekick. In this video, we're going to be going over the plan section, which will be found here. Remember, it also is found on your dashboard, so you can create a new plan by clicking here. A good thing to remember about this is I can follow as many plans as I want. So, what, for example, every, once, a, once a week, for example, I have a and I can easily see what that looks like but it shows up here but I could follow this is one plan in particular that I'm choosing to follow and I want to explain the difference on the man on this particular plan name right losing the way you want so I can look and see very easily by clicking on it and see what that activity looks like if I don't have a plan or I don't want to design one I can also go to the flank uh, find a plan section and I can search for plans that I that I might like so let's say if I looked at this particular uh, plan Bob's plan I could say wow this is an interesting plan look at the way that he's eating or whatever whoever put it together I could go ahead and take this plan and go to add to my plan section and it'll ask me if I want to add it to my plans I can say okay that's the find plan section then I can easily go back to my plans and it'll be in there. I can choose to either follow it or not. And I'll explain the difference of when I click follow it versus versus not following it. It's in my plan section. It's in my, my, uh, my uh, uh, plan section. So I can go on my dashboard. If I want to, I can easily then take a look at uh, the, the plan and go ahead and log directly from it, right? So I can go again, here's my, here's my plan section, and I can click mark as a favorite, right? It's in my plan section. Once I mark it as a favorite, what happens is it'll show up on my dashboard. So this is favorite plan, it's Bob. If I decide I want to follow Bob's plan, and he'll have, let's say, a variety of different things in here, maybe a mental and spiritual physical plan, maybe it's just a dietary plan, it'll be there. I can also follow other parts of my plan. So I can follow as many plans as I want or in different parts of different people's plans if I decide to do that or not. That's the plan section. And then if I want to go back to my plans and I want to, I'm going to, un, I'm going to go ahead and unmark this as a favorite. I can delete it. Now it's gone from my dashboard. It no longer shows up there, right? No longer shows up there. If I go back to my plan section, I have clicked that I want to follow this particular plan. Remember, it's not just a favorite, but I want to follow it. In that situation, it'll show up on my daily log. So what makes this nice is that, as I mentioned, every single week I want to do a chest bicep workout, right? It stays in there until I actually click it. Now it's a one-click log. So if I do my chest bicep, I simply click it and it's followed. I don't have to put anything in there. I can, do, I can make that process that easy with foods I eat, any mental activity, spiritual activity I do. For example, if I decide that uh, I want to go to church five times a week or I want to go off and uh, do a, a meditation, morning meditation prep, I can simply click followed and that'll do that'll automatically log for me. Anyhow, I hope that helps. That's the plan section and you can easily design plans and remember what I mentioned uh, you can either choose to mark them as favorites. That means they're going to show up on your dashboard. and Or you can choose to follow them. And if you choose to follow them, it means they're going to show up on your daily log. It, where you can log them on, they'll show up on your daily log every single day where you can have a one-click log. If they show on your dashboard, they'll, all, they'll also be there as well if they're marked as a favorite. And you can easily open up a plan and follow an activity that you decide to do. I hope that helps.